If you've ever used a cell phone or hearing aid, listened to music, or recorded any audio yourself, you can thank this man, James Edward West, for one of the technologies that makes it possible. West is the co-inventor of the Electret microphone. It's estimated that over 90% of all microphones today use the technology. An Electret microphone uses a material called an Electret that has a permanent charge and doesn't need an external power source to work. It revolutionized microphones in the sense that it um, a condenser microphone uh, at the time in, in the 60s when we started this work, you couldn't buy a condenser microphone for less than $2,000. By eliminating the need for the battery, this meant that you could make something very simple. West developed the microphone during his career at Bell Labs, receiving a patent for it in 1962. Bell Labs is where West called home for more than 40 years. Despite his successful career, working in physics and engineering was not what his parents envisioned for their young son. I very definitely disappointed them when I switched my major from pre-med to physics. Uh, they were very upset and thought that uh, that was the end of my career. Uh, but I can't blame them because at that time, a teacher, teacher, lawyer, doctor were the main professions that blacks were permitted to enter. Despite obstacles of racial prejudice in his life, West became a leader in his field, encouraging more minorities to jump into science and pursue advanced degrees. One of the things that we did was to convince the, the board of directors that Bell Labs needed, and AT&T at that time, needed to do something to promote diversity in STEM. And we had many summer programs, but the one that I'm most proud of was the Corporate Research Fellowship Program, which funded mentored and graduated roughly 600 women and underrepresented minority PhDs. And this was done over a period of about 30 years. Now in his 80s, West shows no signs of slowing down in his commitment to see more opportunities given to minorities and to generate a more diverse population in science. I spend an awful lot of time mentoring. Uh, uh, especially underrepresented minority and women students here, uh, because I know that there, that there are impediments and shortcomings that are the result of just the way the system is, and the fact that the competition gets stiffer as you climb higher.